We're just getting started with the build on the S, but I want you to know that today I'm installing what is probably, I'm, I'm almost sure, is going to be my favorite mod that I ever do to the car, just in general, I'm, and I'm so... Mm, I'm so pumped to do it just thinking about it just like gets me juice and it was just the perfect storm Couldn't have asked for a better scenario from a buying standpoint and it just made complete sense like, I guess I'll just get right into it and I'll show you what I got up until now We've pretty much just been doing maintenance on the car fluids I mean brakes and the reason for that is because I kind of have this formula in my brain where you just really need to get all of the things Done that need to get done first and I think that's a good plan I mean, I don't disagree with that strategy, but also I don't like thinking about it that way because like like, that's not life man like life doesn't always work that way right and sometimes you just got to go for it man when things pop up or opportunities present themselves like you just you just got to go and think later you know and that's that's like really how I'm trying to be lately anyway let me give you one last look at the s from a stock body standpoint so cherry man look at it super super clean I've been really good lately about keeping it clean and just kind of keeping it up to date there are still a lot of little aesthetic things that need to be taken care of on the car but we're slowly working through those things so today we're cutting a pretty big corner but it's okay because we're doing something that I've been wanting to do the car for years man like years and years and years so let me shut up and show you what I got okay so this is the box there's not many other things it could be so just kind of check that out for a second sit on it you know <laughs> put a comment down below if you know exactly what this is but chances are I already put it in the thumbnail so you know exactly what this is <laughs> first piece of cardboard Second piece of cardboard. Oh, I like don't want to look at it. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, woo okay, cool. It looks good. <laughs> oh, so sick, man. I love this thing. It's gonna look so beast. Ah, oh, dude, this thing is so sick. Okay, let me show you. So this is an authentic Buddy Club Japan dry carbon hood replacement for the Honda S2000. Dude, it's so massive. It's like such a huge part. The hood on the S is already so big being a roadster and just kind of having that chassis design with like the super long sweeping hood. I mean, it makes the part that much bigger. Is it on? It's not on yet. Okay, I, I want to know like what you think of it. Is no, it out of the box? It's out of the box. It's in the girdle. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right, all right. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean you want my reaction? I just, you you I, can't tell me how to react. I don't know. I mean, I'm just telling you I want it. I I can't tell you how to react though. Where is it? It's right here. Dang! <laughs> that looks sick, dude. Dude, so sick, right? You need to go fast. <laughs> this hood is carbon fiber. No way. Yeah. And then they paint over the carbon fiber, I can right? See it, yeah. But you can literally see, uh, yeah, yeah, like, see the, the weaves. You see like the weave yeah, yeah. in the. Right here. Yeah, it's like super hard to tell, but it's in there. So super gnarly, yeah? Yeah. Try and pick it up. It's super light. You can like lift it with your hands. Yeah. Crazy. So crazy, huh? I'm gonna film you though, so like don't get weird about it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Close your eyes. Where's the set? It's right there. There you go. There you go. Yep. There you go. Okay, cool. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> so sick, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna be able to breathe now. Yeah. Okay, wait, try and pick it up. This is way heavier. Uh, uh, yeah. Bruh. This weighs like as much as like a TV tray. <laughs> a TV? <laughs> yeah, dude, isn't that so sick? Are you building a plane or something? <laughs> dude, pretty close. Dude, yeah. so sick. I'm just like sitting so far away to kind of begin the overview, but we'll start by kind of giving you a visual of what the top side of the hood looks like. So obviously what makes this hood design unique is the super massive V-shaped vent that spans the length of the hood on the top side. If we zoom in here on the bottom side of where the vent actually ends, you'll see that we have some very functional openings here and they have that classic JDM chicken wire on the back side. So these are real vents. There's actually real air that's going to be flowing through these as they're driving and hot air is exiting the engine 
engine bay. So I actually wasn't able to find any backside visuals of what this vent looks like from this exact angle online. So this like little divider to me looks a little funny. I think it looks somewhat out of place. I'd actually be more a fan of the design if this wasn't here, but maybe this can be something fun to kind of modify later on down the road. On the top side, there's a really, really specific little detail that the previous owner who got this hood painted and bought it brand new was like really, really keen on installing. So let me show it to you. If you look at the reflection of the palm trees in the background, you can still see the weave and how it still shows through underneath the paint, which is so crazy, man. It's like such a crazy little detail. So even from just a couple of feet, I mean, we're probably standing three feet from the actual hood. You would never be able to tell. Like that's something you really, really have to look for. So crazy, man. I'm just kind of looking at this thing from the outside and I'm like struggling to like find the right place to kind of sit at to look at it because it's just so cool, man. So, so cool. Like the the sunlight on that side and just kind of like the way the vent reflects light is so sick from this angle it just looks so cherry man so so happy with this thing so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna flip the hood 180 to show you the back side because it's pretty interesting this thing is so light man it's so so light it's crazy light dude it's so insane i'll give you kind of a side view here real quick before we kind of start picking it apart so this is the official back side of the hood we have some labeling here on the back side of the hood right beside the latch Original aero parts by Buddy Club. So crazy, man. So, so crazy. So the backside of the hood is kind of interesting because as advertised, this is a dry carbon hood for the S2000, but what they don't tell you is that just the top side of the hood is actual dry carbon fiber. So if we zoom in here, you can actually see that this is the actual carbon that makes up the top side of the hood, and this is what's carbon fiber. What they don't mention is that the skeleton on the outside is fiberglass. So this is fiberglass. That's dry carbon fiber. They chose to epoxy the vent on the underside, which is kind of interesting. So I'm actually not a huge fan of what this looks like because I'd like to be able to replace this vent with maybe a different type of chicken wire or I don't know, maybe even get the chicken wire powder coated or you know something like that. But this is interesting to see in real life. There are full carbon fiber replacement hoods for the S2000 that are offered by crazy, crazy companies that engineer super high quality parts. Powerhouse Amuse comes to mind. Mugen offers a full dry carbon replacement for the S. But to be honest with you, for what I'm gonna be using the car for and for my level of skill and for the way that my wallet is built right now, none of those make sense. Like those are just not reasonable options for someone like me to have on deck. So this was a really, really cool option for me specifically. And it's not gonna rob me of like any opportunity opportunities to grow as a driver. It's not gonna mask any bad habits. It's just a really cool way to switch up the look on the car. So we're checking out the underside of the hood and it looks super simple, man. I mean, it really does look super simple. Two bolts on that side, two bolts on this side. These hoses for the windshield wiper fluid and I know those need to come out at some point, so. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I have never had to pull one of these before and they're literally the easiest things to take off. Wow. This last clip is the only one that's a little tricky. Sheesh, dude, look what I had to do to this thing to get it out. These are definitely single use, but this guy was such a pain in the butt. Okay, so that's done. Just got done pulling this all the way off. So now this guy is hanging off to the side. What I am gonna do is I am gonna wedge some microfiber towels just underneath the hinges so that we don't drop the hood when it comes off. <laughs> well, there she is, dude. <laughs> no hood. So weird. Okay, so I've staged them a little bit differently. So this kind of gives you a better idea as to what the paint match is going to be between both hoods. So off the rip, I can tell you that the paint on my hood, the stock hood, is not original paint. But it is a really, really close match to the doors and the quarter trunk as well as the bumper. And that is original paint. So I'm going to assume that this is about as close as we're going to get to the authentic, real, Grand Prix white color code that this car should have came with from the factory. And so with that in mind, you can kind of get an idea for what the paint match is going to be like on the Aero hood. So this new arrow hood has a little bit more of like a yellow shade to it. The Grand Prix white on my stock hood is a little bit more blue if you can kind of pick that up on camera. It's going to be really hard to tell because the camera's not perfect. Carbon weave underneath the paint on the new arrow hood is so sick, man. I just, it's just so different. It's so unique. It's like such a cool little detail. 
I have no idea if I even like that or not, but it is interesting to look at. It'll probably just look like orange peel to everyone else, but it's cool because I know that it's carbon underneath. So it's just kind of one of those cool little details you get to kind of just tuck away in your pocket. So next is the scary part. We're gonna start fitting the new hood on. Okay, so I just got done fitting the hood and I closed my eyes and then shut the latch because I want to get like a clear shot of what the hood looks like all at once. It's standing to my left and I'm gonna look at it right now. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! That looks cool! Oh, so sick! Dang, it looks pretty good, dude. I think it looks really, really good. Oh! So I'm pretty much done playing with the fitment, and I have to say, man, that there is so much flexibility in the factory setup. The hinges down there have so much room, a lot of angle. There's a lot of fitment possibilities if you really just take your time and kind of massage the bolts a little bit and play around with like tugging here and pulling a little bit there. That's kind of just what you're signing up to do if you're looking to install aftermarket aero parts. That's pretty much the setup so far. I have to get creative with how I'm gonna be mounting up these little lines that transport windshield wiper fluid into the little nozzles up top so they're not just dangling like that. But other than that, man, this is it. Like this is the final fitment. So let me go ahead and put everything down so I can show you what the actual finished product looks like. Okay, so I'm finally done playing with the fitment. Um, it is a little time consuming. I mean, you do have to open it, close it, tighten it, loosen it, you know, and then kind of do that all over in different orders. But the overall fitment of this hood, man, is so cherry, brah, so cherry. Look at this thing, man. This thing looks so good. Like from here, like look at the union between here and here, and then look at the union between here and here pretty good man that's pretty good for an aftermarket component you know what i mean like that's pretty pretty good next check out the gaps from here all the way down and then over and then back again that's pretty good man that looks really really sweet and the match is not bad at all Oh, it just looks so cherry cuz so cherry look at this thing overall It's a really clean fit and finish as far as my first experience goes with fitting aftermarket aero components on a car pretty much ever This is the first aftermarket body piece. I've ever fitted onto anything I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but I think we're doing pretty good man so far so good Yo, so I put this at the end of the video because if you made it this far, then you can probably rock with what I'm about to do, but I wanted to talk for two quick seconds about inspiration, so I'm gonna pull up a couple of um, accounts that I think are cool and worth mentioning. So this is a photo I saved from 2015, and this dude's name is Ben, his handle is Because Ben Johnson, but I've been following Ben for a couple years now, and he was like my original inspiration for getting this exact hood, dude. Like this is the, like just this angle, this specific photo I saved, you know, what, six years ago because I thought it was so sick, dude. His car is the same color as mine. We obviously have the same hood installed now, but it was all the way back here, man, 2015 when I first saw this and I was like, dude, that is so fudging sick. Like I need to get my hands on something like that one day. Ben's hood is actually from a company called Shift Sports. And Shift Sports is another gnarly, you know, Super JDM uh, manufacturer of aero components for different sports cars, including the S. So this is a Shift Sports hood, and mine, if you obviously sat through the video, is a Buddy Club aero hood. I'll talk more about this in a future video, but what I think happened is Buddy Club leased this design from Shift Sports to release as an authentic Buddy Club product. It's definitely not the sexiest thing in product development, but it does happen pretty frequently. Another super rad photo of kind of the top side of the hood, and I remember just thinking like, man, that looks so sick, dude. Dude. Ben's car is super rad. It's got ITVs, or at least it did in 2017. I don't know if it does anymore, but here's another super sick photo of the hood, dude. This angle is just so, so rad. I think he ended up selling it, and he ended up getting a, a, um, a powerhouse Amuse hood. So if you know what this hood is, I mean, it kind of needs no introduction. This is probably the most like infamous hood, you know, as far as like aero components go for the S. 
but one of the original cats to get their hands on an amuse hood from like way back in the day is another dude named Andrew who I interact with sometimes online and I don't think he watches any of these videos but these are images that I've saved also from like right around 2015 and it's just so sick man because I remember seeing this car get built on S2KI back when S2KI was a thing and it's just so so sick man. Eventually he moved his stuff over to his own forum which is um, snisen.com. This is Japanese for like S2000 but like I remember looking through these like just super late at night procrastinating from like doing my projects and stuff but seeing this car get built online was like one of my original inspirations for the S. So anyway I just wanted to drop those a uh, couple of quick gems. Um, I don't know, I just, like I said, I wish people talked more about like where they get their inspiration from and sort of like what drives them to do the things that they do. It's like not a thing. People never talk about like who inspired them to do, you know, X thing. It's kind of like when artists sample beats, you know, like the, like it's just so cool to know where those artists got that inspiration from like because they at some point had to have heard something and thought like oh like that would be super rad to like just kind of twist it a little bit maybe mix it a certain way and then it turns into something that you end up loving so i wish it was kind of disclosed more often but it isn't always so i thought you might be interested in kind of seeing sort of where i come from from like a you know i don't know inspirational standpoint or whatever so thank you for making it this far if you did um i will catch you in the next one